Okay, so now let's create the add to cart custom audience and the purchase custom audience. So the first step that we have to do is go into our store, okay, right here. I'm actually going to go back for a second. So go into your store, take a second to load, go to products, find your product, which is this one, just click on it. And you see up in the URL, it ends in a number. So we're going to actually click on that and type in .xml. Okay. What we need is this number right here. So it says, the first one that says variant type array, variant ID. We need this number for our purposes. Okay. So we're going to copy that number. If I can. Might have to do control. Just going to make sure I got it here. Yep, I got it. So copy that number and then go to your audiences. So I'm going to have to use my other account because I don't have enough purchases or add to cards. So I'm going to show you on here how to do it. So go to your, this is under audiences, okay? Asset library, create, custom audience. And we're going to call this, it's going to be from website traffic. And that's going to be the engraving pixel but I'm in a different account to show you because I have to have add to cart and purchases before I can do it. So you're going to click on this and then you're going to scroll down to this from your events, add to cart. Okay. And then you're going to type in 180 days. All right. Then you're going to click on refine by URL slash parameter. You're going to click this little drop down, and you're going to select content IDs and you're going to paste in that number that we got. Okay, now you're going to name this, your campaign number, add to cart. Well, I'm going to call this zero 01, okay, because I already have a 2 in there. So create, so that's your campaign number, so say it's 002-1, create. Now Facebook is going to go out and create that custom audience for you and populate it. Okay. Now you're going to create the purchase one too. Same way. Custom audience, website traffic, click this. Now scroll down to purchase, click on 180 days, refine by URL slash parameter, click the drop down, go to content IDs, paste that number in that we got. Okay. Now name this the same one. Purchase. So that's our buyer list. So Facebook, done, we'll go out and create those. That's how easy it is. Now if I wanted to exclude um, this list from my retargeting list, I remember in the retargeting video, you could put exclude and then 002-1 purchase, that'll exclude your buyers. So if you wanted to get really advanced, you could show different ads to people who added to cart but didn't buy, and different ads to people who viewed it with the retargeting but didn't buy. You could even take it a step further and say, I want to show ads to people who viewed the page but didn't add to cart. So there's a whole bunch of different options, which is kind of beyond the scope of this. But the the good stuff is what I'm showing you. Okay? So that's how you create those lists. In uh, in the next video, I'm going to show you how to create a lookalike based on those lists. But first let's define what a lookalike is.